Lights, Three Stars, Scream. man, man, man. We got family in the building, man. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. What is good with it, man? What's good with it, man? What's the word? God damn it, man. It's a blessing to have you here, man. Uh, before yeah. I even get before I even get into the history, man. Uh, for those that's deaf, dumb, stupid, living under a rock, man. <laughs> go ahead and tell them who you is, man. Tell them where you from, man. Oh yeah, man. You know, geeked up nigga, gun, straight out of Dallas, Texas, man. You know what's going on. Definitely, definitely, man. And I gotta let them know, man. Uh, like I was talking earlier, man. We we fuck with you the long way, man. Uh, we used to have a spot, man, out in Dallas, man, next to Sean Cotton, man. Say cheese, and uh, and we had a little radio situation, man. Real talk, no BS, man. And uh, we invited you over, had a little conversation, and yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. let you know you've been putting in work like a motherfucker, man. Man, how you feeling, stop. man? How you feeling, man? Shit, it feel good, man. It feel good to be in the position I'm in. You know, yeah. it feel the same because. No, we humble from the dirt, but yeah, it just man. feel good. You looking like a bat. You looking like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's nah, good. for real. Definitely, man. Definitely, man. Um, man, you know, let's go ahead and touch on, man. The, uh, I guess let's call them the humble beginnings, man. Because yeah. you know, you out here repping a D, man. But I want you to go ahead and you know let them know your, kind of your history uh, up until now, man. As far as getting in this game and stuff. Sheesh. Nah, for real. We uh really started out back with my brother Street and them. I make I linked up with them. I wasn't really doing the rapping thing hard, but I was I was trying it, you know what I'm saying? But streeting them, they was streeting Fat Boogie, they was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I linked up with them, started doing my stuff, and then we started building the city. We had a little wave, like, what was it, 2013, 2014, 2015, 16? Yeah. All those years right there, we built the underground scene in Dallas, a little race scene and shit. And shit just started going up. Dropped Johnny Cage, met up with uh, Slim Jimmy, it's my brother Ray Shrimmer, Sway Lee, J Shrim. Shout out to Shrimps. And then everything else after that, just, it just went logo. Man, for, hey, I got to ask you, man, because, uh, you know, going with a name like Gun, you know what I'm saying? That's not totally totally PC, man. Oh, no, it is, bro. Every white man <laughs> and black man got a gun in their crib. It's family. I, family it, oriented name. I, I remember, uh, like, like two pistols. <laughs> somebody changed their name. It was like, it was something like, man, I got to change my name because, you know, it was, you know what I'm saying? Did you feel like at first you was like, man, we going to just rock with this whole whether they like it or not? It was like, bro, my name stand for geeked up nigga. <laughs> it ain't even gun, really. Exactly. It's geeked up nigga. <laughs> for real, rocking it. Yeah, for real. I want them to see the uh, goddamn uh, periods. It's abbreviate. I mean, not abbreviation, but yeah, uh, yeah it's, it stands for something, man. Uh, which I didn't even know that. Um, as far as uh, this music shit, bro, Dallas has been turning up like a motherfucker, man. You're part of that wave, you know what I'm saying? You're part of that yeah. wave of niggas that's, that's kind of coming through. I see you got a little situation, man. I mean, is is you in a deal situation right now? Or? Yeah, Oxon the Dev Jam, Stephen yeah. Victor, to be exact. Yeah, man, that's real. How does how does that how does that first of all how does that feel? And a lot of cats, you know what I'm saying. In this day and era, they be always talking about staying the independent route. You know what I'm saying, sticking. I mean, honestly, bro, just just lawyer up. Make sure your lawyer is good, cause I mean, every deal not a bad deal. It's some bad deals out there. Niggas get suckered into certain shit all the time, but every deal is not a bad deal. And being able to have resources that you never would have, a machine to help you, you know what I'm saying, to actually put your shit where it needs to be, is very, very, very needed in this industry for you to win. For real. Do you feel like artists should be overlooking their deals, like reading their contract, or they should leave it to somebody? Yeah, yeah. Money. You should be sitting down with your lawyer and reading it with them. Your lawyer got to be your best friend when it comes to this shit. <laughs> You gotta be family to that, to, you know what I'm saying, to your lawyer for real. These are facts, man. I've been hearing, uh, you know, we get cats in here that they say they get deals on their face and they sit down and they try to read them themselves. Like, yeah, no, nah, like, don't do that. Yeah, I'm like, bro. If you ain't go to school for that shit, don't do that shit. <laughs> that's that's not the smart thing to do. These are big facts, man. Um, You just mentioned some names, man, that you came up with, man. I want you to go in, man, uh, you know, throw it, throw it out there, man, as far as some of the cats that you work with, some of the cats that you didn't rock the mic with, rock the stage with, man, just so they can know what it is. Oh, yeah. uh, My brother Street, for sure. 10K Cash, of course. Jimmy, Sway, uh, OG Mako, Fat Man Key, Man Man Savage, uh, One Take J, Q the Fool. Uh, shit, so many people I, I fuck with. Trophy from the Narco Wave, yep. LA. Uh, shit, there's so many people, bro. I can't even name Gleesh. Yeah. I go all day, bro. Nah, really, big, I fuck. I fuck with a lot of a lot of people, bro. They came up like I came up, and they fuck with me, so I fuck with them. So you know what I'm saying? We try to, uh, you know, this 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 channel is entertainment, but we also try to educate cats as well, man. So there's a lot of cats in this city, man, that you know want to get to your position. You know what I'm saying? They'll get you know to a position where they have 
they feel like they've been doing it for some, you know what I'm saying? And it, yeah. it's hard for cats, you know, they, they get demotivated, you know what I'm saying? Shit start, you know, looking funny for them, they quit. Um, do you, what, like, what are some of the things in this game that you feel are necessary, man? Because a lot of, a lot of cats be to themselves, they don't feel like a network is necessary, you know what I'm saying? Shit, know your, know your business, stack your chips, get your money first, like, for this music shit and this shit to really work for you, you have to get your life in order. Yeah. If your life not first or priority, you're going to crumble and fail at this shit every time. How much would you say you invested in yourself before this shit actually popped for you? If you could just to be honest, off. I couldn't even tell yeah. you how much money I invested into it because it was so much. Yeah. Time, money, sacrifices, losing family members, friends. Yeah, this is this a huge sacrifice. Take a toll on you more than people think. Man, you just said something real there, man, as far as the losses and stuff like that, man. Who was um, who was one person or uh, some people that you wish could, you know, be around now to see kind of you, kind of, you know, they saw you in the beginning, but kind of see where you at now? Smokey. Yeah. My brother Smokey, he uh, was one of the first people I started road running with, moving around, the, you know what I'm saying, states. He took me to Atlanta. He, uh, I met Chi-Chi in Zone 6. Yeah. Took them niggas was real, real cool. Had us geeked up. Yeah, he's <laughs> lit. Yeah, yeah. Club over there in Zone Six with them, but um, yeah, he got killed in San Antonio like day after he left from me and told him don't even go. Yeah. So I feel like kind of bad about it because I, I could have stopped him. I tried to stop him. I could have did more to stop him because yeah. I felt something was gonna happen anyway. I didn't know, but you know that's one person I wish I could have back. Man, that's real. That's real, man. Um, man, this music shit uh, it doesn't come easy, man. Do you feel like at your level? of what you're doing now, do you feel it's, what percentage of work and play do you feel this is right now for, you know, for those that. Shit, I, I, honestly, I'm working harder than I ever worked before. <laughs> like, I'm working hard on this album. I'm doing two sides, it's called Two Sides to the yeah, Story. Yeah. I'm doing melodic side and a trap side, so you get both worlds. Would you want to drop, uh, what made you want to drop the two side? Did Drake influence that or you just already kind of had that in Well, nah, because, I mean, I really don't have no influences like that from, well, when I was young, like 18, Drake wasn't even out yet. That's fact. So, like, the people that inspired me, older heads like Gucci, nigga Linkin Park, Gorillas, oh, shit, yeah, bands gorilla. and shit, like He's all type gorillas. of music. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like all type of music. Like, I'm, I'm inspired by music. Music saved my life. But, like, inspired now, like the young niggas that blew up, like, Smoke Perp and Lil yeah. Pump and all them, like, they used to come to Dallas, Cardi, all them. They used to come to Dallas and be around us no before they blew up. So they kind of seen, yeah, yeah, we got videos and all that. But they, they, they seen how we was moving, how shit was going, and, like, they took it back with them, yeah. and then boom. You know what I'm saying? But it's, I'm not mad at them about yeah, it. How, how, do you, how do you feel about that, I mean, man? It, I mean, it's, it's good to see people come and see a craft and see how we move, how we perform, how we rage, how we break stages, take it. Then show the world. I just wish there was more, like these are the people that did it. Yeah, they y'all should show them love too. Yeah, do you feel it they ain't much been niggas more, like that? Yeah, they could have been giving more back. Like man, yeah. you know, y'all need but to look at, at Dallas and, and. At the end of the day, though, it's like you know, we in the streets anyway, for real. So yeah. we don't care. Yeah, we care, thing. but we don't care. Big we not gonna hold it over their head, or hold it over our head. We just gonna keep going, and get some more money. And you said, uh, what's the name of the project? You said you were. Uh, it called Two Sides to the Story. When uh. What's uh what's the process in that? Is that gonna be a mixtape, a full album? Or a full album, full Def Jam first album. Okay, bet. So the production's going into it and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we putting that. I'm putting all stars in this shit. Yeah, who's some of the cats you working on that whole as far as production? Uh, features? waiting on a verse back from Valet. Waiting on a verse back from um some other people. I don't want to spoil it, spoil it. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I just say Valet's on there. You know my brother 10K on there. Yeah. And you know, I don't want to spoil it and get y'all too much though. Now for real, I, I see that uh. I see that like, you know, every time I go to an album on uh, Spotify, it never got the features no more. It just got the artists. And I'd be like, yeah. man, that's like a gift and a curse because I used to be want to go like, oh, let me see who, you know, who check out this feature. With. But then now I just got to, I got to look at the whole bitch now, you know what I'm saying? Just to That's see why I put them up. motherfuckers in the title. Yeah. <laughs> I put them niggas in the title. They be For trying to put them in the crib. I be like, nah, hell no, let me get them, let them see that shine on there. For real. But For I, real. I, one thing about me, I hate features. Oh, for real? Bro, I, why, I why hate features. Why is that? I don't know. I, 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 ain't, co I ain't cocky. Normally features make go harder, you know what I'm saying? Man, I don't be. I don't compete with niggas, so I don't even care to have a feature because I don't compete with niggas. I don't compete with my niggas unless we on a video game playing a game or something. <laughs> but then we gonna compete. But when yeah. it comes to like shit like this, yeah, we don't, we don't compete. So, the, you know, the, the original, you know, the old school, let's say in the 90s when hip-hop was like, 
five minute tracks and shit. You know what I'm saying? It'd be oh, like yeah. it'd be like a hook, verse, hook, verse, hook. You know, it'd be long the bitch. Yeah. Like, do you feel like you could do that? Like as far as three three verses. Yeah, that's but, easy. You know, what I'm music easy, but I'm not gonna do that shit. I'm giving you two fifteen, two thirty. <laughs> get in, get out. For real, because <laughs> niggas don't niggas they niggas ex, they they like they attention span is so short now. Bro, I'm telling you, they song, on to the next so fast. A song go four minutes and thirty seconds, bro. I'm getting like, what the fuck? I'm yeah, like, you like, all right, this song long in the bitch, bro. I'm really ready for it to be over. Big facts. Yeah. Big facts. Um, as far as the project itself, when uh. Do you have a timeline as far as when you trying uh, to get it out? No, there? no due date. I don't, I don't like doing due dates until the project's finished, like mix and master. Yeah. Cause I don't want to hold that over people's head, and then it don't come out on the time it come out. When my shit come out, it's gonna come out how it's supposed to. It's gonna come out on time. Bad. I don't like holding music from fans. Bad. Are you uh, pushing any certain singles for yourself? I know you got some music out there, which we're gonna touch on. But any singles off that bitch, you gonna be trying to push before the hell come out? Yeah, I'm gonna drop a single. I'm probably gonna drop a single in the next two and a half, three weeks. Okay, for hey. sure, for sure. If not shorter. Hell yeah. Um, I got to touch on the man. Uh, you know the uh, Aloha man with uh, your brother Ten K man. That whole yeah. numbers, bro. Uh, you know, it's very few songs that you know. Right when I press play, I'm talking about when the beat drop from. You know, just everything is just perfect with the whole, yeah, yeah. That just, that whole <laughs> just go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did that process come about? As far as uh, you know, y'all just like man, we just need to turn up on some text shit. Or- bro, that nigga is the funniest young nigga I ever met in my <laughs> life. That nigga's a genius too, but. Yeah, we was just in the, uh, he was scrolling on Instagram. He's like, where's the legs of Texas? <laughs> Are you random as fuck? Nigga, what you mean? Where like Texas? I'm probably sucking some dick or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he was like, I had wrote the chorus. I was like, try this chorus on it. So he did the chorus. Whole fail. We was missing one part. That's what the last part he said. Where's Alexis, Texas? I was like, that's hard. The bitch got dropped there. So he did it. I did the first verse. And then that shit just. That shit gone, man. Once I seen that on TikTok, bro, does smash that shit, bro. Yeah, that shit, that I'm shit like, went crazy. You know, that shit in the world now, bro. That shit, that whole in Ukraine and shit. Yeah, now, that whole overseas, man. Yeah, like they've been trying to get us to come overseas. I keep trying to get on a little bro, like, bro, you gotta get your passport. You gotta get the passport. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna bro. get it, I'm gonna get it. I'm like, all right, bro, it's a whole world we go, bro. Hey, Seas. Duff- Duffy came through here, bro, and uh, she was saying the biggest bag she ever got was when she went out to Egypt or some shit, bro. Oh God. It's like, bro, you missing. You know, them niggas know your shit word for word, bro. Yeah, niggas don't sleep do. on that over overseas money, bro. But see, I had, I had um, when I dropped Johnny Cage, they was trying to get me to come overseas. You don't want to go like, like 2015, 2016. Japan but or I, nothing, I bro. didn't at that my time. My mind wasn't moving on that. My mind was thinking like, I was thinking some other shit, bro. <laughs> I was still out here trying to see what I could do. Yeah, big, <laughs> big fact. Big fact. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, Johnny Cage hot, but it ain't feeding me, nigga. Yeah, I and, need to do some. And you had mentioned, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, your fam getting you out to Atlanta and doing shit. Yeah. How, how important, you know what I'm saying, for an artist up and coming when you in your city, especially a city like Dallas, uh, to before you even blow, when you feel like you got a song, you feel like you got some uh, momentum to get out the city and uh, move around? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you can, save your music. There's no rush to drop shit. Yeah. Like, you don't have to drop shit right now, especially if you're young. If you want to, leave, hold your music till you find a situation. Because they're going to help you put it somewhere it need to be. I mean, unless you want to just drop and just do it on your own because you want to stand out and be independent. Do you. It's a million ways to win. For real. Just choose the right one out of a million. Like, people make it harder on themselves. Do you suggest every rapper to visit Atlanta, like, at least one, once just to see I mean, it's, even if you go to Atlanta. Like, I went to Atlanta, of course, but it ain't like that's going to blow you up. Yeah, but it's it, not. Like, it seemed like a lot of niggas made that trip. Every, they, shit, I, I went to New York. That ain't blow me up. Went to no Atlanta. Way. That ain't blow me up. Right. Went to Cali. That ain't blow me up. Chicago. That ain't blow me up. Florida. That ain't blow me up. Dallas. That ain't really blow me up. What blew me up was Aloha. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What blew 10K up was the dance. Dip, sweat, dip. Yeah. That shit blew him up. He did that in Dallas. Dip, sweat, dip was done in a garage in Dallas. Man. Blew him up. That's real. So That's real. it ain't about where you go. It's what you're doing, where you at. Like, what you going to do? You yeah. drop it and you put it the right way? That nigga's a genius, bro. 10K know how to work that internet. Yeah, that nigga's a is. genius, bro. You get on that shit early and know how to do, just do a little bit more than the next 20 people. Exactly. You and so it, you gonna you, blow, you can blow wherever you at. It don't matter where you at. People think it matter where you at. But you do need to travel. Definitely travel because you definitely want to see what's out in the world. Would you say there's a formula to this shit nowadays? Or there's-, there's a million formulas to this shit. You blowing up off a, a spurring a nigga and dropping a song the next day. Three. It's a million ways. I go pee on somebody and drop a song the next day, I'm probably going to blow up. Facts, facts. 
Real shit. Facts. <laughs> man, um, the uh we had mentioned a little earlier, bro, uh, you know, ten K came through here and uh you know, even touching on ten K, man, as far as that that gig and shit, man. Dallas used to be really running running the shit, you know what I'm saying? I hey, my yeah. personal opinion was like it was a lot of good songs that was nationwide, but people didn't know the faces. Yeah, yeah. behind them songs. Anybody could go perform that and they just be like, We just know the song. Yeah. So I think it's switching the word Dallas. They getting artists now where you know the talent, then you get the music. You get the music. Yeah, how do you feel about that era, man? That 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 boogie era? I mean shit. I, I was around niggas that, you know what I'm saying, was doing it and I was helping them do it, but they didn't wanna listen to me. So it's like, all right. You ain't yeah. gotta listen to me. You gonna listen to somebody, they gonna fuck you. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like we had a huge movement and it didn't go nowhere because niggas was cocky, ego, pride, and you can't it ain't gonna work like that. Then you got a little bro. He said, I'm finna he told me what he was gonna do before he did it. He said, Man, I'm finna bring the old down the swag back, nigga, blow that shit up, nigga. Yeah. And gun, I'm taking you with me, period. I said, All right, man. He did that shit in a month and a half. I and that nigga stay solid. I'm like, what the fuck? I always said Dallas is missing a bag, bro. But I be seeing his Millennium tours and yep. R&B tours. They need to put a Dallas Boogie tour together. Dallas Boogie tour, nigga, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga, that whole nigga from the south. See, now if them niggas didn't do that weird ass internet shit hating, then we definitely could do that. But <laughs> fuck them niggas. <laughs> they can eat a dick. For oh, real, gang. bro. Niggas ain't hey, missing out on them. They bag, ain't do that man, weird bro. ass internet shit. Man, it's, uh. 10K, he was in here, man. He said, uh, you know, he had missed out on doing one of Sean Cotton, one of Say Cheese's uh, interviews, man. Yeah. And uh, he said he missed out because he, he couldn't bring his partners through. He ain't miss out on shit. Hey, well, not miss out, but more so he didn't do the shit. We're going to do one with him. We talked to Sean. It's yeah, good. Yeah, man, exactly. We're going like, we gonna to do one with Say Cheese because, you know, that, at the end of the day, that's still gang. He be moving weird sometimes, but we still love him. It's, it's, you got to understand, Sean is Sean. Yeah, I, I, I always give him credit because I'm like, man, you a single man. I, I mean, a single dude out here doing your thing. Yeah. And it's harder to gauge everything, man. Like, yeah. You gotta, who in your corner, man? So who's all who's all in your corner, man? Who's as far as uh, when you when you drop music, bro, and you want to get a real ass opinion, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's seen, you know, when you start getting bigger and bigger, you get a lot of yes men around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything's fire. Everything's fire. And ain't nothing trash. Shit, I mean, yeah. honestly, when it comes to my music, I don't, I don't really, I don't ask people for opinion on my music because I don't make it for them. I don't care. Back. But if I do want somebody to hear my shit and I'll be like, hey, just hear this just because I want you to hear it because I respect his opinion, it's this nigga Street. Like, that's yeah. the only nigga. Like, yeah. I don't care who else told me anything about my shit. It's going to be Street. Big facts, big facts, man. Yeah. And as you, as, as you, as you getting up there in the game, man, you know what I'm saying, your, your drip has always been fully with the motherfucker, man. You always yeah. been turned up. Uh, man, how how was the DM situation, man? I mean, is it as a what the DM situation? I mean, is it oh my DMs? Yeah, are, are they coming at you from all corners or? What? Nah, bro, I don't even be in my DMs. Oh shit, he leave my he leave him on ghost mode. <laughs> yeah, I don't be in my DMs for real. I like you got to I rather meet the I rather meet the girl in person, cause like I get to talk to you in person. I talk to you on the internet. That ain't what I don't like the internet, cause you get all types of weird shit. Yeah. I rather if I see a woman person I like her, I'ma shoot. Yeah, do you like if a, if a female got a lot of followers, bro, and she really on this internet thirst trap type shit, bro? Would you <laughs> fuck with her like that? Like, I mean, it's, it's expected of you, bro. You yeah, know, you're in the for industry, real. bro. But don't let no bitch get 25k on her shit. She, <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she just a god. Oh, oh my god, bro! She can't tell a motherfucker shit. Not for real. Man, I say, what's the hey? What's the pettiest? Thing a female ever did to you, bro. The pettiest? Yeah. Ever did to me? Yeah. After a relationship went either sour or y'all just uh, pettiest shit a female ever did to me. Oh. Made me come to her house with another bitch there that I was already fucking with. Are you fucking serious? I tried to fuck both. I'm about to say that sounds like a, that lie. sounds like a gang plan, bro. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I, I tried. Like wait, wait, wait. Was she it trying worked. to set you up on some shit or was it? She like, yeah, you hoe ass nigga, you fucking with her, but you over here fucking with yeah. me and this and that. I was like, I just can't choose. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I ain't want to choose, and you not my girl, and she not my girl, <laughs> but. I didn't know which one I wanted at the time, yeah. but y'all ain't my girl, Nigga. and I know y'all got niggas in y'all phones, so why y'all trying to do me like Real. that? I be like, you done made it all the way over here, shit, might as well stay a while. Yeah, might as well. I, be, I asked him, I said, well, y'all want to go in and eat something? I'll, I'll buy a piece or something, we watch a movie. Yeah. She said, <laughs> fuck you, nigga, I ain't fucking with you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I tried. <laughs> man, big facts, man. Um, is there anyone anywhere in the world that you haven't been? Well, like you said, you ain't been too many. Uh, Bro, I see. But anywhere you want to go that you feel like I ain't been in that bitch at, whether in America or outside. I want to go to. Um, I definitely want to go to. Um, the damn, I'm tripping. Barcelona oh, and yeah. London. We got fans in London, and then it's a lot of shit going on in London right now. I want to go. That's got to be the first stop, man. Um, Coming back home, you know, Jambalaya. Yeah. To be able to do your thing out out this motherfucker, man, go see the world a little bit, and then have a situation where a Jambalaya fest, which was crazy like a motherfucker, bro. Yeah. How does that feel for you, bro, to, you know, come back to the city and see, like, just like, man, we, you know, we. we It just feel like Johnny K's all over again. There you go. Only more smarter and wiser and a little bit bigger. Yeah. But. It, it feel the same. It's like now we know what to do in this position. We know how to really win. A lot of cats in the game, you know what I'm saying, and like I said, this is all a teaching experience, man. A lot of cats out here still doing these open mics and shit, man. What do you feel about doing open mics? Cause Ain't me, nothing wrong with to that. Me, when you get to festival level, I think you got to have some open mic in your in your history because a nigga can't just go from the internet to doing a festival. You know what shit, I'm saying? Shit, 10K Cash oh, yeah, first. first. Shout out 10K. <laughs> His first show was on tour with ASAP hey. Rocky. <laughs> Nah, for that nigga. And we lit. smashed bro, that shit. Y'all niggas was lit in that motherfucker, man. Yeah, we hey, smashed that for shit. For real. That's, and that's a good person to but, kind of follow up on as far as just how a show should be rocked out. Yeah. Just, you know, if you ain't ever did the shit, like, bro, I'm going to follow that energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's for all real. Niggas, you want that energy, bro. But um, open, I started open, open mics. Like, I didn't do open mics, but I was on my homeboy's, like, little show. Yeah. And I had this song called 40 with the Beam. And that shit went crazy, nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that shit went crazy, but niggas was raging to it, and it's like, nigga, that's what's up, nigga. <laughs> the energy, like, uh, that's yeah. why I said, okay, we finna just start raging, shit. Then we started coming out to Chief Keith Finito on before we perform. Hope it's rocking. Man, that's real talk. Uh, speaking of man, what's uh, what's the part of th- one of the throwest thing you seen a fan do? Doing the shows and shit, bro. Going out. What's the kind of throwest thing you the seen? Throwest thing I seen a fan do was in L.A. We was backstage. She went up to my own way and grabbed him and said, "I just want to eat your dick. I don't care where." Oh, that's on some Tupac. <laughs> that's on some Tupac shit. That's I looked inside. I said, "What? Did he? Did he win that night or did he?" <laughs> he said, "We gonna leave it on the end." <laughs> Bitch said she want to eat anywhere. Yeah, here he is. I think he won. <laughs> bro, I cannot make this shit up. I'm nah. not making this shit up. This shit is real life. Bro. Like, these hoes really be on that. <laughs> For real, real. Oh God, this dogs, shit be bro. crazy. Man, I would say, uh, throw a question, man. If you could have a hall pass, bro, to whoop any celebrity ass, bro, and they can't fight back, bro, who who would you go He's with? He's saying they can't fight back. They can't fight back, bro. <laughs> bro and if I had a hall pass to whoop, whoop somebody ass, hold on. I got to think about this. It's a couple. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, dig deep, dig deep. Shit. Nah, honestly, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't really had no problems with nobody lately. That nigga came in and said, uh, nigga, I put Floyd Mayweather. I'm like, he with Floyd Mayweather. For what? <laughs> what Floyd money. do? <laughs> nah, but, um. For no reason, nigga. I'm like, damn. I, shit, I'd say it was the nigga that sold Lil Peep them drugs. Mm, I think he rapped, go. too. There you go. For sure. There you go. Man, Man, speaking of, man, R.P. Lil Peep, man, and, uh. Shit, everyone we lost in this game, man. We've been losing a lot of our, of our future icons, you know what I'm saying, coming yeah. up. Man, what are your thoughts on that, man, being in the game and, you know, seeing this road and getting news? Like, slow down, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, slow the fuck down. Great. That's it. Like, especially once we using off, losing off drugs. Like, yeah, I know depression is real, but God damn. You ever seen I, a nigga I, just, like, geeked up on some shit? Like, just, just look. Bro, I've been geeked for the past three days. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but... Hey, what, like, hey, what's the throw of the shit you seen a nigga do on whatever the fuck he was on, bro? Like, the th- <laughs> bro, I, don't, I can't even. I don't, I don't would know which one to choose. Nigga be on I done some hangover nigga, shit, wake up and be like, what the fuck happened last night, nigga? Yeah, I done seen a nigga get get roofied out like on his own. Nigga, that he like jumped off said, a house. Just yeah, I don't. It was just retarded, that bro. That nigga said he roofed, he roofied himself. He roofied himself. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know how that could be a choice of drug to want to do. Nigga, Roofie? Like, yeah, bro. I, I don't want to feel no. Kind of like, I guess it would be the same as doing the Zen, right? Yeah, shit. shit kind of. Shit, kind of so. <laughs> Something like that. Something nah. Like that. Hell nah. Roofie different. Man, uh, 2019, bro, shit is turning up. Um, As far as, besides the album, what else in store do you, you know? Oh, yeah, shit. Year, bro? More shows. Uh, 10K album. When he getting ready to drop, he finishing his shit up. Uh, My album. Uh, a couple people want us to go on tours. We trying to lock them in. 
We definitely Y'all finna gotta take that Aloha, bro, to Hawaii. I mean, oh yeah, for sure. For sure, we going to Hawaii. That only, that only makes sense to take the whole to Hawaii, bro, sure, and rock sure. that bitch out, bro. But um, we definitely gonna be setting up our own tour soon. So we definitely, definitely doing that. Really, we at that portion of of our careers. We we really trying to get the tour life. Cause so many people want to see us, and it's, we starting to ask what cities, what states, which I want to know, or like which I want to hear, and everything. So we getting the tours ready yeah. while we getting ready to albums. Um, after even after 10K, I mentioned the Def Jam, and of course, you know, you signed almost to the, the, well to the same situation. Uh, a lot of cats was asking us behind the scenes, like, man, is it is it worth it? Is it worth it when you know, people come at them with these deals? Is it what, worth what? What is the what is the labels doing for you now? Hell yeah, you it's worth it. Yourself, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, it's worth it. But don't let these niggas lie to y'all. <laughs> this shit is amazing, nigga. This shit fun as hell. Yeah, these thing. niggas be cap. A lot cap. of people been fucked over, bro. I guess that's what nah, it is. they be cap. Nah, what it is is they don't go to the office and fuck with they staff, bro. The people that work on they shit. Yeah, the yeah. people that's going to help you. The people that need to like you. They don't go yeah. fuck with them. Fuck them. It's all fake. Ooh. No, it ain't, nigga. You just not a people person. <laughs> I'm a people's person, bro. I like yeah. talking to people. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm going to go pull up, offer them lunch, buy them a drink, take a shot with them, all that shit. I don't give a damn. And they fuck with us. Like, we go to the office, they fuck with us. Nigga, you got to be friends with your, like, like nigga, y'all both in the same. If they lose, you lose. If you lose, they lose. Like, y'all get money together. Yeah, they don't want like, to just don't let know, these niggas lie to y'all, bro. Yeah, for real, for real. These niggas be, ca- I don't want no deal. I, don't even, I ain't going to sign them in the streets. Uh, all right, nigga, till a nigga pull up on your ass with that Uzi or that Yapu and drop your dumb ass being in the trap all day. Nobody want to be in no trap all day, for real, nigga. This is a means to eat for our families, man. Nah, for real, Nigga, man. cap. Man, hey, you know, it's been a crazy month in Dallas, man. A lot of cats been, uh, you know, it's just been like... Yeah, it's like 27, yeah. 26 murders already. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that, man, as far as just, you know... Hey, bro, it is what it is. Stay out the way. Yeah, yeah. Go, go do something else, bro, because what you doing ain't working. Sorry to your families, but you know what I'm saying? A nigga had a, a meme of uh, coming to Dallas... Like Fresh Prince on. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they made 31st. <laughs> <things. laughs> yeah, my nigga Juan like, posted that house. Juan right. Money. Yeah, shout out Juan Money. Juan Money posted that house. That shit has to go. Hey, that's how that shit gonna be for real, man. I'm like, shit, niggas scared to go outside this motherfucker. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. I rob. My- hey, look. We are licensed shooters. There you go. We defend ourselves. I'm riding with that Yapa and I'm riding with that Glock. There you go. And anybody riding around me probably got their shit too. There you go. There you go. Don't play. For real. Um, hey. Have you seen the movie Us? Us? Yeah. What movie? Wait, is that the one with the new one that just came out? The, the scissors and shit. They had the scissors. The black people had the scissors and shit. I seen. Yeah, I ain't seen it yet. Oh, That's. Oh, I ain't you, seen oh, it yet. You a busy motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't seen it. Yet. The only movie I got to see recently is Brightburn, cause then the street time we go see that shit. Yeah, and, uh, and what you call it? It just came out. John Wick Three. John Wick, yeah, that's a yeah I, I was canceled everything for that motherfucker. <laughs> that's a motherfucker too. That nigga got a hundred bodies, bro. Canceled everything. Oh that god, bullshit, bro. I can't wait to the fourth one. I ain't gonna spoil it for nobody though. There you go. There you go. Um, man, uh, as far as uh the social media game, man, uh, what what do you, what is your thought process as far as you know your posting and ten K run my page. Oh shit, there you go. I don't, I don't do all that. There you go. Ten, what, ten, ten K run my you, page. Um, you didn't want to fuck with it, or you were just like, man, he just. I'm like, being funny. I run my page. I'm about to say that. Yeah, hey, nigga might say like, he's like, hey, nah. hey, I'm gonna take this pic for you, bro. I'm hit this angle nah, for you. Nah, nah. I mean, shit. I just, I just post what I want to post. I speak my mind free. That's what it's for. It's for you speaking mind. I just, I get on that whole post on Instagram. I like pictures. Twitter, I just, you know, post whatever. It don't matter. Yeah, for real, for real. Nah, is is it is IG your go to, or do you be on that Snapchat or? Nah, IG my go to. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go to IG. There you go. I don't like Snap. I don't even be on Snap. Snap boring as hell. Nah, for real, for real. I, I never even got on the shit, goddamn it. So. That is where you can catch a bitch trying to cheat, though. Ah, yeah, yeah. Remember all the hoes that don't, yeah. <laughs> don't love they nigga, they be on Snapchat. If a yeah. bitch got a Snapchat, bro, she's cheating. Yeah, bro. I don't she, care. Hey, she, for, she knows she know it could get deleted like a mother. Nah, for real. <laughs> um, you you had mentioned you didn't even look at the numbers for Aloha and shit. Do you, do you look at your streams, bro? Do you see what, what what's doing what? Hell nah. Only thing I do when I when I see I should drop, I read the comments because they be funny as hell. Be it be some niggas. Yeah, yeah, it be niggas in there hating. They be funny than a bitch. Nah, niggas be a hey, nigga troll game be on 1000. I, I love it. I'm going to troll right with you. I'm going to put a response on a nigga and all that. Hey, I be, it be a nigga said, 
fuck this gun nigga. His name's Gun. Another dumb rapper with a dumb name. I commented on this shit, replied. I said, hell yeah, fuck that nigga. That nigga name, he a bitch anyway. I know who he is. He a bitch. They said, bro, ain't you? They was like, wait, nigga, you good. Oh, nigga, I, I was like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Then they become a fan. It'd be funny bro, as hell. That's funny as fuck. I, I should, hey, I suggest all artists do that shit, bro. Oh, God. Have, have fun with these niggas, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, they they, wanna, them niggas just want a response they ain't anyway. Pull up on you, nothing, man. They just want to, yeah, they just want to respond. Nah, hell nah. They, they ain't doing that. Nah, for real, for real. <laughs> all right, man. It's a blessing, man. Um, as far as uh the work ethic you putting in, man, you know, it's just, just been, it's just been crazy. Like I said, there's only a couple of cats out of this city that. And it's funny, do people know you from Dallas like that? Like, do people? Just- yeah, niggas know I'm from Dallas. Okay, yeah, just but like- they just be like, what part of Dallas you from? Because oh, yeah, you know. I be everywhere. Like, I went to Cedar Hill. I went to DeSoto first. Yeah. I went to Cedar Hill. I went to Mansfield, Arlington. I went to Summit. I went to Timberview. Yeah. I went to a lot of schools yeah, out here. You live on the same street your whole life and shit. Yeah, bro, but like- fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, matter of fact, nigga, I'm from Atlanta too, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wherever <laughs> I make money, where I'm from. Where bag. I'm from where the bag is. I'm from where the bag is. <laughs> <laughs> for real, them big facts, for man. For real. Uh, man, hey, for those that, you know, want to get at you, man, and uh, want to follow your music, man, once again, go and plug the album one more time. Want to make sure Oh, yeah, man, look, look, Two Sides to the Story, that's the album. It's coming soon. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, it's Gun Music 40 and that is what I carry, that 40, Gun Music 40 on all social media, man, Stay you know up. what I'm saying? Follow that. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. You got any shout-outs you want to give? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, Shout-out to the wrist, because that house still like a hurricane, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, big facts, big facts, man. Hey, we already know what the fuck going on, man. It's a blessing, man. Uh, I always tell cats, man, don't get too big for us, man. You know what I'm saying? When you touch down on them M's, bro, yeah. don't 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 act like you're too big for the couch, man. I'm going to come right back to the yeah, couch, real, man. I get the Emmys. Real, man. You know real life saying? street stars, yeah, man. Fuck with you man. We salute, man. Hey, real life. Yeah. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.